friends, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a card using Lawn Fawn's Unicorn Picnic, A Little Sparkle, and Donut Worry. So I've stamped out the images I'll be using on some Nina Solar White cardstock with uh, jet black ink from Lawn Fawn, and I'll be coloring with my Copic markers. I'm going to start with my unicorns, and for them I'm using E000 and E00. I wanted just kind of a soft peachy shade um, so that I could really use a lot of color in their hair, so I thought this would be a nice combo that would match well with the rest of the colors that I want to use. And then I grabbed my colorless blender and just smoothed out the edge of that E000 so it blended softly into the white area. And I colored all three unicorns with that combo. And then I'm moving on to the base of my donuts. I'm using E50 and E51 for this first one. Um, I laid in some E50 and then I went in with a little E51 to put some shadow around those ridges and blend it out with the E50 again. And then I grabbed my colorless blender and cleaned up any mistakes. Um, I usually don't color that sloppily, but there really just wasn't very much room to do the blending on that. I'm also coloring in one of the fairies' skin with the E51, and then I did one with the E00 when I did the unicorns. And now moving on to my last donut, I decided to switch it up and do E51 and E53. And then I went back and added that to the other two so they all look the same. And then I colored the third fairy's skin in with E55. I'm going to do three different colors on the unicorn's manes and tails. And the first color I'm doing is pink. I'm using R11, R20, and R22 for that. I put the dark in on each end with the R22 and blended toward the center with the R20 and then filled in the middle with the R11. And then I'm also going to give them a rosy cheek with that R20. And then I'm going to kind of do a little ring around that with the R11 to kind of soften it into the rest of their faces. I'm also going to color in one of the fairy's dresses and another one of the fairy's hair with the same combo. I wanted to keep the color palette on today's card really simple and pastel. I'm going to color the little heart on the sprinkle shaker jar with the R22 and then use the R20 and R11 to color the rest of the jar in. Then I'm moving on to my yellow combo. I'm using Y11, Y13, and Y15. Again, I'm going to color in exactly the same way, putting the darkest color on the ends and the highlight in the center, and that's just gonna make that look a little bit more bumped out so it has a sleek and shiny look. I'll do another fairy's dress, and basically how I did those is I just put the darkest on the top right and blended down toward the bottom left um, as I got lighter, and I also did another fairy's hair with this combo. And then my third color for the unicorn's mane and tail, I wanted it to be kind of a mint green, so I'm using G quadruple zero, G zero zero, and G02. And you'll notice that on some of the unicorns on the side of their neck, they only have like two stripes. So I just did um, one to match the pink and then one to match the mint just to kind of mix it up. I'm just imagining that the other color is on the other side of their head where you can't see it. I'm moving on to BG10 and BG11. I use the BG11 for their hooves and I also added some shading to the unicorn's um, horn and the fairy's wings and blended out with the BG10. And then I'm going to use both of those shades for the glaze on top of the donuts as well. Just starting by tracing those scallop shapes with the BG11 and also the ring in the center and then blending out with the BG10. And I did that for all three exactly the same. To add the sprinkles to the donuts, I'm going to take that sprinkle image and I'm going to stamp on one of them using Lawn Fawn's Ballet Slippers ink. And then for the second one, I'm going to use Butter ink. 
So I wanted this to match the colors that I used on the unicorn's mane and tail. And then the third ink color I'm going to use is Minty Fresh. And I just cleaned off that sprinkle image with my stamp chamois in between uses. And now I will trim these images out with their matching dies. I've trimmed out three pieces of white cardstock with the Lawn Fawn Puffy Cloud Border dies. And on the largest one, I'm going to pop in my Misty and stamp my sentiment, again using that Ballet Slippers ink. And I'm stamping the sentiment that says, Have a Magical Day. And I did stamp that down a couple of times to get a dark impression since this ink is light and it dries back a bit. And then I will pop my card base in my Misty as well. I'm going to use Lawn Fawn's Mermaid cardstock. And I'm going to stamp in Merman ink. I'll use another one of the unicorns from Unicorn Picnic. This is the one that's hiding behind the cloud. And I added some sparkle marks and the sentiment that says, you can never have enough glitter. Again, I stamped that down a couple of times to get a nice bold impression, especially since they were new stamps. To assemble my card, I'm going to start by adhering a piece of Spiffy Speckles pattern paper by Lawn Fawn to the front of my card base. And I trim that down using the uh, outside in stitch rectangle stackables. Then I'm going to add my cloud borders to my card base. I'm just using the bottom one as a positioner so that I can get the other two in place. And then I have added some foam tape to the back of that bottom one. So I'll peel off those release papers and add that to the bottom of my card, just lining that up nice and straight with the free edge. And then I can begin to adhere my images. I'm going to pop up this unicorn and donut up on foam tape since they're going on the puffy cloud border that is also popped up but all of the rest of the images I'm going to adhere flat to the card with liquid glue. And I'm using my Tombow Mono Multi today because my glue tube ran out. But anyway, the story behind this card, because you guys know I always have to have a story about my scenes, is that I was imagining a world where not only unicorns and fairies exist, but giant donuts just kind of like roll around and they are calorie free and sugar free and they are there for anybody to enjoy. You can eat them, you can play with them, you can even sleep on them like a nice fluffy pillow, whatever your heart desires. So um, that was kind of the concept behind this one. I don't know, sometimes my ideas are crazy, but I just thought it was super fun. So I'm adhering the fairy in the yellow dress with the pink hair over on the top right corner and I'm giving her the little sprinkle jar so she can be the one that is adding the sprinkles to the donuts. And um, then the other two fairies I'm just going to add here and there on the card as well. Just kind of spread on either side to keep that color um, you know, just keeps your eye kind of moving back and forth across the card. And then I'm going to go back to the three ink colors that I use for my sprinkles. And I'm going to add a whole bunch of these little sparkle marks that are included in the uh, Unicorn Picnic stamp set. So there's a cluster of three and then there's two little separate ones that I just added to the block at one time. So I started with the minty fresh ink and then moved on to the butter and then I'm also going to add some using the ballet slippers and then I'm just going to continue to kind of fill in some of that white space on those cloudy borders. Then as a final embellishment I'm going to grab my Stardust Stickles because you absolutely cannot have a unicorn and fairy card without sparkle. The inside sentiment even has the word glitter in it. So I added some sparkle to the unicorn horns and their hooves and the fairy's wings and also to the little heart on the sprinkle jar. And um, I also decided to add some to some of the sprinkles on each of the donuts. I just kind of dragged it along um, those lines and just added it here and there. So you get a really pretty flash of glitter when you tip this card into the light. 
And as usual, I couldn't stop myself, so I ended up dotting a little bit of that glitter into the smaller of the uh, little sparkle marks there, um, just for even more pop. So I'll tip that so you can kind of catch that and see what I mean. It's just really, really pretty and sparkly. And I'll give you another peek at the inside. And that is going to complete my card for today. This card is actually going to be up on the Lawn Fawn blog today. So I'll have a link in the description bar below. You can hop over and check that out if you're interested. And as always, I will have a link to all of the supplies I used in the description bar below the video as well. If you liked it, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if you'd like to keep watching, here are two extra videos I thought you might also enjoy. You can click on either one to check them out. I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day. Bye-bye.